I am Wayne Wayne Barron. This is my blog. And what we got here is that once again, 2001 Ford Taurus. And we got the power steering issue taken care of, which is done in this video. And we've gotten this taken care of and this taken care of, all sorts of stuff taken care of. Also, there's a hose right back here. It's called the EVAP hose. And I'll show that one here in a minute and it just completely came apart and whenever it came apart it made the car sound like it had a really bad exhaust leak and there's the kitty cat so what we're doing now is that I need to replace the heater hose running from the firewall which I've already got a section of heater hose which is a 5-8 heater hose. You can buy this for like $1.45 a foot from Advanced Auto, which is where I got this from, and I got five feet for seven bucks. Now, what we're gonna do is that <clears throat> right underneath here, all right, right up underneath here, okay, we, we got the water hose or the power distribution, or the water distribution system is what I call it, I forgot what it's called, but you've got this unit right here, underneath here, but it's a hose, and it's about yay long, I don't know how much it costs, don't really care, I just know that they don't last long, so the 5 8 hose is going to run from back here, all the way around to here, and it's going to connect on, so it's going to go from point A, which is the firewall, it's going to connect on to this part right here. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We got to take apart all this stuff, all this, this, and I think this has all got to be removed in order to access that. Anyway, I meant to do all this early this morning, but my lazy butt stayed in bed too long. So now it's after 11 o'clock, and I got to have mom to the doctor's office at 2.30. So son's here. So son, I might end up having to use son's car to take grandma to the doctor's office. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing done. We're going to strip out the battery first. We're going to take out the, the air ducting, ducting. And then we're going to see if we can access the heater hose from just reaching back down and grabbing a hold of it so I don't have to take off the top of the manifold. Anyway, let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, so... Um, the hose that I originally thought that I needed, which was a 30 millimeter hose for what the Ford dealership told me that they were able to see about that hose that comes out of the back of the water pump. It's not a one and a quarter inch, which is what the Ford guy told me. It's actually a three quarter inch. And what I did is I took some, uh, some cable tape uh, and I was able to take it and push it up against the bottom of the hose input or output and uh, of the water pump and whenever I pushed up on it it made an impression on it so I measured it and it's a three quarter inch hose so we got a five eighths inch hose that runs from the firewall to pretty much wherever I want to end it at and then this part right here would go into the back of the um, the water pump went over to Lowe's and picked up this so that it can go in there and attach them and now we're gonna run it now. okay so I got the Sun going pretty good in my favor right now which is great so. Uh, this part right here, you're going to have four bolts. My bolts are missing. You're going to have two there and two there. I don't remember what they are. Uh, maybe three-eighths or something like that, which is what we're going to need over here.
sure that you don't lose anything. Just put stuff up here. So we're going to try to look in here that the sun is really going to mess with us here. I'm actually going to try to actually get in the way of the sunlight. But where we're going at is right in here is where the hose is running to. So it's going to be really hard to see it. But this is one of the hoses that I replaced. I replaced this one. And then this one right here is the one that we're going to replace now. And that one goes way up underneath here. And I don't think there's going to be a way for me to take it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the hose. I'm going to run the hose from here. All right. So and I'm, I'm, gonna gonna run this, here and then I'm actually using my, my phone, my Samsung S7. Whenever you record, it immediately zooms in, which makes it really good. So what we're going to do is that we're going to unhook all these. And this is a 11, that's 8 millimeter. And you got to be very careful taking these off because that broke. I've got a couple of them. That one's broke, that one's broke. This one right here, I had to actually saw it out. So we got one right here, which on the back of the intake part, right here. And this one, this one got one. You got a hose up underneath here that you got to remember to hook back up. If not, then the car's gonna roll like crap. And there's actually two of them. And remember whenever you put this back on, there's a ground right here that needs to be grounded back. So just get it loose and then put your short extension on it and then use it as a screwdriver. And don't forget that in order to work on a car, you must bleed a little. So we get this up and out of the way. Get 
put this right here and now we can see our hose and while we're at it I'm going to show you something go ahead and move this from here okay this hose right here uh, okay this hose right here um, I'm not sure is it this is an evap hose it runs from here to the back over here and that piece we couldn't find it so I replaced it with and I don't think I'm gonna find a number on it no there's not one it's probably the reason why the woman gave it to me for free but anyway uh, you want to replace the hose with something like this and this right here like I said this was free but about you want to loop it around like so so that it will not kink and then you got perfect airflow and it's a little bit overkill but it works so that is where we're going that's what we need to get to so, uh, you're not going to be able to see what i'm doing but that's what we need to get to that's what we need to unhook once we unhook that then we can hook up the the new hose and then we can run it all the way to the front here but the other hose the other hose that we've got is down there so as you can see it's right on the other side or right up underneath the green right here so you got this hose here and this hose here that one on the bottom goes to that one right there that one on the top snakes around goes up underneath And then it comes around and it goes the open end right there that's actually the hose and right beside it is where I've got to plug in my three-quarter okay so that's off well it's not off from there yet but now we need to come over here and get this one off and this is going to be a little bit no i thought it was going to be a pain in the ass but it's not so careful when you do this one over here at the firewall because you don't need to bend this this pipe coming out of the firewall okay so there we go so there's a hose and this right here is the 5 eighths the 5 eighths hose car heater hose so now we're going to replace so this we're going to We're going to run this up underneath here. Let's go ahead and get this put on. care of that side in here and, uh, that looks decent we think all right now we need to take this hose we got to make sure that we stay away from our belt now this this part right here I'm sure you can see that yeah but this part right here went out on me about four years ago I think it was and I paid $89 for this piece right here. You can buy them <laughs> for $39 now. That sucks. So this part. So I'm going to have to do this. Only thing I'm doing is I'm going to put this hose on, on this part right here. Okay. So that's all that we're doing. We're just moving. We're going to move this out of the way. I'm going to cut it or do something with it. 
I mean, it can be put anywhere. It's not going to be in my way. I'm sorry, I'm talking probably way too loud. But I'm going to hook this three quarter inch hose there, clamp it down. I'm going to run it probably up through here. And then somewhere along this line is where the hose is going to be at. And that's where my splice is going to be at. So I will see y'all when I'm done with this part. Okay, so these little clamps that come with the hose adapter that I got from Lowe's are six millimeters. <laughs> so yeah, make sure that you got a six millimeter socket or a flathead uh, screwdriver, which I prefer to deal with the sockets if possible. So I'm going to go ahead and get this connected on. Uh, I did not want to take off the clamp down yonder. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's the same type of clamp. It's the same type of clamp that this is. And it's a pain in the butt. So actually, unless you got that tool, got that tool, then it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So instead, I went into my storage building and I found 11 16 to 1 quarter inch stainless steel clamp. So that's what we're going to use. This clamp right here. I said it's 11 16 to 1 and a quarter. And. A uh, eight millimeter socket. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this thing up, and uh, then I'll see you whenever I'm done with this. Okay, so what we got here is that the three quarter inch hose down here. You want to make sure that you put the bracket on or put the adapter on it first. If not, then you will screw yourself. So this is our five eighths hose. I've got it cut where I need it at. Go ahead and put in our uh, or put on our clamp there. And right here, it's this. Let me see. Let me bring this over here so I can show you. All right. So right there, this is our clamp. I mean our adapter. So that's what we got to take our hose here. Move that so it doesn't fall in. And we need to hook our hose up to our adapter right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we should be able to do it with one. Okay, so we're going to grab this one. Okay, so that's got that on. Move our clamp down. Alright, so uh, I just got it. Now I just need to put everything back together. Got it. So right there is where it's coming out of the back of the water pump. And then it comes down with the three quarter inch. Then it comes up to here and to the adapter to the five eighths. And then it runs all the way around to the back side, way back over yonder. So. Let's go ahead and get this thing put back together because it's starting to get late. And my son is already in his winter jacket. Alright, so first thing we need to do is hook up our coil pack. Make sure that you take the ground, put the ground on the back. Let's go ahead and get this side over here on. Okay, so that's got that on. That your gaskets are still intact and they have not moved. Got a 
right in the butt to find stuff whenever it falls in the motor compartment. Not sure what the torque is on these, but be very careful whenever you do this, or uh, you will break them. Because Ford really took a, uh, a drop whenever they made the bolts for these plastic things. They did a shitty job. So before we put this on, rest of our hoses this hose right here make sure that it gets plugged in it's right on the back here and then take this part right here and plug it into the top okay Yeah, you did. I tried to stop you before you hung up. Uh, can you get some uh, hamburger rolls? I was thinking about getting those anyway. Straight up. All right. Love you, bye. Appreciate it. Okay, I had to talk to my son real quick. Go ahead and get all of this put back together. Some people have a difficult time doing this next part, so I'm going to try to zoom in some and bring it down. I mean, it's not going to look that good. Okay, about right there should look good. So we're going to try to put some light on, make sure it's not in the way. Okay, good. All right, so what we got here is that we need to get this right here attached back onto this so what you do is if you move this around and you take you take this and you sort of bend it back on itself like that you bring this part back you slide it in and you turn it back in make sure it's back in everything looks good there bring this back pick that up and then take your spring take your your spring up to here and here and that's all there is to it and uh, so everything's hooked up there so we got that and don't forget, this right here is your, um, your, your mouth sensor. I forgot what it's called. I can't believe it, but I forgot what it's called. And then hook this up. Okay, so everything seems to be hooked up. Everything's good. And, uh, I don't have anything left out. I hate it whenever I got stuff left out and I'm forgetting stuff. There's 
enough room there so there's nothing in the way I have the obstacles or anything so everything looks good yellow What's my name? What is my name? I will let you, yes sir, I will let you know after the verb admission. No, you gotta let me know now. I'm not gonna give you my, my, my card information unless you tell me my name. You tell me my name, then I'll give it to you. Murphy, one of the senior supervisor. I believe you were just having a word with one of my representatives. What happened? Yeah, okay, y'all called me up. Then y'all want me to give you my card information. What I want you to tell me is my yeah. name. Sir, just let me clear one thing too. We never hang in the call. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Looks like the phone call conversation that I thought was being decently recorded probably has my face really, really, really big. Okay. So all that is taken care of. So now we need to put some antifreeze inside this thing. Okay, let's crank her up. Make sure that everything is connected up right. I hate it whenever I forget stuff. We got a slight difference. Is this off? Is this off? Make sure all your lines are hooked up. I'm going to just drive it down the road right quick and see what it sounds like and then, yeah. Okay, well, we've got the car done, and uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to see me. Uh, got some light. So anyway, we got the car done. Uh, five eighths hose. I get about, to do both sides, I would get about 10 foot of five eighths hose. And if you want to be able to bring the hose that goes to the water pump up and then over and have it sitting on top, of the uh, water assembly unit. I forgot exactly what it's called, but I'll have the picture of it right here. If you want it to sit on top of it, then I would get you two foot of the three quarter inch hose. Now the uh, adapter that I got, which was uh, five eighths, three quarters, it's not as snug as I would want it to be when you first put the, the uh, adapter inside of the uh, three quarter inch hose and the clamp, you gotta undo the clamp just a little bit in order to slide it over the hose. And I wouldn't push it and too so far. It's, it's up to you. You can either have it the way I've got mine, which is sitting right there in the front, or you can have it sitting on top of the assembly. And either way, it, it's, it's strictly up to you. And But having it this way, bypasses all that hose crap which also bypasses uh, any type of rust that may go inside of your water system which happens all the time 
and it makes for better water flow. Now, this is what they should have done. I mean, this is what they've been doing for friggin' since what? I reckon the 20s and 30s, they've just been running one hose from point A, right here, point A to point B. But instead, they've got it running from point A to point B, C, D, E, and F, and G in order to come over here to H, which is a joke. It's, it's too much crap up underneath the hoods of these cars these days. When the only thing that you need is a hose to go from here to here, from here to here, and then into your distribution. But anyway, so we got this done. It's taken care of. It took a lot longer than what I thought it was going to take. And uh, I had to remove a lot more stuff than what I wanted to remove. But I've done this so many daggone times I can near about do it blindfolded. But anyway, so what this video is going to show is it's not only going to show how to do what I just did. But it's also going to show how to access both of the hoses and how to route them. Anyway, I am Wayne Barron. This is my vlog. I'm also going to be running this off, most likely off from my Dark Effect Studio channel as well. Because I get paid from that one, but I don't get paid from the vlog. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.